Moving on from that one and moving on from things that are great to see, we have to talk about Jound, right? One of my favorite, favorite, favorite brands out there and favorite sites. I'm just a big fucking fanboy of Justin Saunders. Been following the blog Jound <clears throat> since its inception, really, before even they got into doing the whole bin trail thing, before you probably met Virgil, all that whatever thing, when you used to scroll down to the bottom and it would say, oh no, let's go to the top. At the top it would say, this is the this is going to be like your favorite website ever, right? And if you don't know about Jound, in the early days, they used to have this mood board on their site where he basically updated, it, you know, randomly here and there, right? With images. And I think in the beginning, it was kind of, uh, you know, you could see when he started, was starting to blow up and, you know, get more opportunities to do cool, interesting things and shit because he would not update as often. But he could you know, maybe do it every two weeks, every month and shit. And they'd be all these cool images he collected over the internet, mostly like a Tumblr type of feed, really clean design, minimally done. A lot of it was kind of color coordinated in a way. Loads of great imagery, like old, like the stuff you see nowadays, David Granted, but back then was cool, like old vintage Porsches, incredible architecture, great interior design, great furniture, um, just cool images, you know, beautiful girls, people, guys smoking, signet rings, all that cool shit. And I remember I had the fucking honor one day of having one of my images, one of my pictures of my shoes that I was wearing featured on Jound. If I can find the image, I'll get it up on the screen now and put it there so you can see it. But I was featured on Jound many, 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 many years ago. And it was a real honor to have my fucking feet fucking poking out there. So if you know my feet and you know how they fucking burst through shoes, you'll definitely be able to see that that was me. Anyway, that being said, um, they've got a couple of collaborations they've been doing in Reebok over the years. And I have to be honest, like, my aversion to Reebok has been mostly based on my upbringing because I'm from a particular t a particular part of London, right? That I kind of grew up in, in terms of like Canning Town, Custom Mouse area. That's incredibly, incredibly racist, right? There's a lot of kind of BMP, National Front type of people in those type of areas, even though a lot of kids are in those areas are also mixed race, which probably might have, you know, led to the fact that some of them were racist, right? A lot of families with deadbeat dads and shit, so they kind of turn their attention to anybody that, you know, of my kind of complexion and think we're all fucking pieces of shit you know kind of is what it is but one thing that you would always wear is Lonsdale Reebok and I forgot what else maybe yeah mostly Lonsdale and Reebok so whenever I so whenever I look at some whenever I think of Reebok classics Reebok workouts the first thing I think about is oi mate or you, or me, or me. I mean, and fucking guys running after you. And again, like, that's happening when I was younger. I literally have like these crazy white dudes running after me around the area and shit. The way they're beating me up just because I happen to be born, you know, a couple of shades, you know, darker than them, right? Just a couple of shades. <laughs> We're just fucking crazy. Obviously, when we all got older and we started to fight back, we realized all these guys were pussies. But when you're younger and you're seeing all these grown men with beards running after you, you're scared, isn't it? But once we all kind of got of age and kind of fought back, it's the same thing with all bullies. If you just punch them back one time they usually kind of you know fold into themselves but regardless that association with racist groups and racist people has kind of unfortunately carried on with me which is why i've never run rebooks and even when i got into crossfit and the nanos were the big shoe at the time i never wore them just because of that i just never it just got you know there's too much ptsd too much bad feelings around rebooks but of course over time you know you mature you get over it and slowly but surely with every fucking jam collaboration, I've been like, you know what? I might have to fucking try and give these a go. I might have to try and give these BMP AF1s a go, right? And I think I might have to start with these Jounds CL Nylons. They might have to be the first one that I kind of have to jump on because these are really nice. And again, John have done a ton of collaborations with Re Reebok. It seems like a, a long-standing collaboration partnership with them. I also like that they don't try to like, you know, force new models onto Jound. They just give him the stuff that he wants to fucking do. Actually, I'm fairly certain for the time I was working in the industry, or closer to the industry back in the day when I was, you know, uh, around more. I remember hearing somebody say from Reebok that they wanted to, they were kind of upset that every time they'll collaborate with somebody, all they wanted to do were Reebok classics or Reebok workouts. They didn't want to do anything else and they were kind of wanting to expand their product range or get someone to do like a new shoe. But the only shoes people cared about were the Reebok classics and the Reebok workouts. So it kind of put them into a bit of a corner, right? It kind of limited their options and it kind of didn't give them a chance to grow. But I guess now with Jown, maybe or just in general over the years, they might have accepted their position when it comes to the sportswear hierarchy and shit. And they're willing just to kind of give, you know, Jound. I forgot who the other guy is. Well, there's there's a contemporary artist dude who does some really cool collaboration with Reebok too. Um, and and they and he just he just basically does the same model in different colorways and shit all the time instead of trying to do like a new model that they're trying to push. And same thing goes with the CL 
nylon that you know Jan have done or maybe they've done something similar before I'm not really sure but it's just cool to see that they give them the opportunity to keep going back into the fucking archive and taking out the classics instead of pushing these fucking horrible fugly new models that they want kids to be on because you know no one really cares about them unfortunately and this particular one I feel like is really really tastefully done as you can see it's a nylon CL I guess you'd call it you know a, a, maybe a nylon rebuilt workout but it's a bit different in that regard you've got this really cool mix of um suede and nylon on the upper very minimally done you've got this great um tab here with a jam written on the with it with the font as well no belt no crazy bells and whistles just a really crisp and well done fucking um collaboration on the back hill tab it kind of looks like that might be 3m so again really tastefully done as well this nice sort of 3m detail kind of reminds me of how you know old running shoes were in terms of you know allowing people to have the option if they want to run at night just put a bit of a 3m tab there so in case anybody were to run over you over the street they could see you um you've got this nice tonal well, it's a tonal i guess off-white tongue with the laces done as well and again just crisp not really no craziness on there just a really nice collab and i really like them i'm not gonna lie i would actually wear the hell out of these no cap and again i'm not really the biggest reebok dude but these nylons look very very well done nice again nice suede on the mud guard nice nylon tip there again maybe i would have switched this for a mesh because i feel like this nylon might crease a bit weird over time because of this weird spacing here right there's not a lot of this joining the pair i'm not really too sure maybe that's just a bit maybe a nitpicky obviously the sock liner being this crazy crisp plush white you might have to put on a new pair of white socks every time you wear them i kind of liked how this is done actually the tongue on the laces they look like they've been pre-aged you know by having this off-white ivory tongue and the same stained laces effect going on there you've kind of got this really crazy um yellowy kind of vibe on them which would you know you imagine would happen if you actually had a pair of co nylons you know on the shelf for a long time maybe you'd maybe dye the midsole also but i like this addition i think that looks really cool on there and then continuing on again as you can see the heel tabs again like i said most likely these are 3m the hits there so again if you want to wear them running or whatever you can definitely be okay with that and then you've got the gray outsole there very classically done again no crazy bells and whistles maybe i would have gone for a clearer sole there who knows but i do like the fact that they've just done in a really nice classic way minimal way as you know from drowned with nothing else on there to kind of distract you from the design and the shape of it as you can see here some details nylon suede leather upper terry cloth lining oh terry cloth lining look at that god almighty i've got a couple fucking nike sweatshirts that have a terry cloth lining and let me tell you they are very warm blank nylon tongue with foam padding eva midsole rubber outsole giant window box logo and a great cotton lace with an off-white secondary assembled in vietnam i always love their product descriptions and details really really fucking cool um as you can see here nice campaign picture of a dude sitting down on his very nice trendy fucking chair great desk incredible monitor with these fucking nylons and looking at some of the fucking imagery as well they've done when they did the collaboration together so yeah big up them i fucking love it looks really really cool again justin saunders and that whole giant gang absolutely smashing it and always doing cool and crazy collaborations going forward um they're going to be released on december the 7th thursday 12 p.m est on jound and december 14th at reebok global channel so definitely check those out if you're a fan of reeboks but yeah i think these look cool and again look at the box just crisply minimally done all white with the kind of ivory off-white logo you can just barely see Rebook on the top and jump to the side. So yeah, really, really cool and really well done. I can't wait to see those when they eventually are out there in public with the peoples.